Hi everybody. Um, I finally went to bed about 2 o'clock in the morning last night because I had way too much coffee yesterday. And it's like one of the first times I've drank coffee, what, that much coffee in about 6 months because I'm nursing. And it just went through my system and stayed there and I was just, I was up the wall yesterday. Um, I was tired but my mind was just up the wall so but I finally went to bed at 2 o'clock in the morning but before I went to bed I set my alarm clock for 5 o'clock in the morning because I wanted to get up to watch Haley's Comet the shooting stars this morning so I got my ass up at 5 o'clock in the morning even though I'm not a morning person but I got up anyway because I'm a nerd and I went out there to um, look at the shooting stars which I saw about 13 or 14 of them and it was really neat. I thought they were going to be in a cluster but um, they weren't. They were um, it, it, one by one about two or three minutes apart and some were kind of faint, some were really bright and like big and you could see them zoom right across the sky. It was really neat and you know this is one of the few times that I love living in the country and you won't hear me say that more than once. <laughs> because like if I was living in Cincinnati right now I wouldn't have seen them because the city lights are so bright that you wouldn't be able to see them so um, I saw those this morning um, in about 20 minutes or so within the time frame of 20 minutes um, I saw about 13 or 14 of them which was cool then I came back inside because I was freezing by then um, and went back to bed of course um, let's see what else. One of the girls I work with, that, not the one that bought Logan the dinosaur costume, but another one. Um, she's about my age, but she's younger, but we won't go there. Um, she wanted me to dress up for Halloween also because we're both, I think we're both scheduled for Halloween. And, um, we're encouraged to dress up, um, you know, for for the for the holiday or whatever it's called and last year she wanted me to do that also but I couldn't well I wouldn't because I was pregnant and I just ooh. so I promised her this year I'll do it so I went to CVS yesterday and bought one of the witches hats the really ugly ones for 99 cents and came home and added more color to it I had like red like strips of cloth to that and a bow on top and um I got a um a red t-shirt I'm gonna wear underneath and then with an old black t-shirt I made it into a vest like one of those um October fest vest you know the ones that are laced up in the front one of those I'm gonna put that over the red top and then I've got these um, capri tights that I'm going to wear underneath the black. And then I'm making, um, using strips of red fabric and black fabric and trash bags, black trash bags. I made um, this skirt. It looks kind of like a grass skirt, but kind of ribbony. Um, they're red and black, gothic looking skirt that I'm going to wear over the tights and I have this pair of um, knee socks that are red and black striped so I'll wear those also and of course my broom my Malaysian broom which is amazing I love it I'll, duck, I'll have to duct tape that black first though because otherwise it wouldn't really match so that's what I'm going to wear for I'm going to be a witch which is not far from the truth so um, tomorrow, I found out tomorrow, um, at our local health department, I'm going to bring Logan there between 5 and 9 because we finally got the H1N1 flu vaccine, the, the injections. So, um, we're going to both go and get that. It's free for residents, so, yeah, we're going to go get them. Um, let me think. This coming Sunday at our church, we have our annual um, 
fruitful labor auction where you're encouraged to make something like whatever you're good at. Um, people bring pies and cakes and um, cheesecake, which is really, really yummy, and coffee cakes and anything, crafts, blankets, anything, and um, they bring it and then it's auctioned off and all the proceeds will go to the church. So every year I always make jewelry and my jewelry usually goes for like 40 or 50 bucks. Um, this year, because I haven't bought any um, supplies in a while, I don't know if I have enough to make any jewelry, so I have to go look first, and I better get cracking on that too, because it's this coming Sunday. So I might just do something completely different, and maybe make a basket, one of those um, spa baskets or something, and I've got some dried lavender flower lying around here somewhere, so I can make like a eye pillow with that and maybe make some soap with lavender and oatmeal and maybe like a a rice bag, a boo boo bag. Um I don't know what else to put in there so I'll figure something out. Maybe make a basket. That's probably what I'm gonna end up doing. Or I don't know. I'll end I'll end up doing something for it. So that's usually a lot of fun. And then, let me think what else. Oh, 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 yesterday during my vlog, because I was so zoned out, I forgot to tell you guys that about three days ago, on October 18th, Logan learned to say mama. I'm not really sure if um, he was just saying it because he was babbling, or if, if he said it on purpose, but he said mama, and I'm en encouraging it, so now every time he wants to be picked up or when he's cranky, he says mama. So, yeah, I thought he was going to say dada first before mama, but I guess I won. <laughs> um, Sean and I have decided, well, mainly it was my decision, and I just told him about it, that we are going to clean up our potty mouths. So, um... Every time we say a cuss word around Logan, he gets a quarter put in his um, piggy bank. And last week, I had to pay him $7.75. This week has only been, it was $0.75, cents, but since I said A S 